Is there a method for finding the sum of integers with opposite signs without using a number line? In this lesson, you will learn to add integers with opposite signs by using an algorithm. Let's review. The absolute value of a number is its distance from zero on a number line. For example, positive 3 is 3 units away from 0. Its absolute value is 3. Negative 3 is also 3 units away from 0, but in the opposite direction. Its absolute value is also 3. When we add two numbers with the same sign, we move in the same direction on the number line. For example, 7 plus 5. The add ends are both positive, so we move to the right 7 units and then 5 units for an answer of 12. In negative 7 plus negative 5, both add ends are negative. So we move to the left 7 units and then 5 units for an answer of negative 12. When we add two numbers with opposite signs, we move in opposite directions on the number line. In the problem negative 7 plus 5, we move 7 units to the left and then 5 units to the right for an answer of negative 2. A mistake that many students make when they don't use a number line is to think that when we add numbers with opposite signs, the sum will have the same sign as the first number. However, this is not necessarily the case. When we add 2 plus negative 1, we see that the answer is indeed a positive number. However, when we add 2 plus negative 3, the answer is negative. So how can we find the sum without using a number line? First, let's see if we can see a pattern. Can you find a pattern when adding integers with opposite signs? You may have noticed that arranging the absolute values of the add-ends makes a true subtraction equation. But how do we know if the answer to the addition equation should be positive or negative? A common algorithm is to subtract the absolute values of both numbers. The answer will have the same sign as a number with the larger absolute value. Let's look at 6 plus negative 10. The absolute value of negative 10 is 10, and the absolute value of 6 is 6. 10 minus 6 is 4. Since negative 10 has a larger absolute value, the answer will be negative. Let's look at another example. Negative 8 plus 20. The absolute value of negative 8 is 8, and the absolute value of 20 is 20. 20 minus 8 is 12. Since 20 has the larger absolute value, the answer will be positive. Will this algorithm work for larger integers as well? Let's try two larger numbers like 75 and negative 100. The absolute value of negative 100 is 100. The absolute value of 75 is 75. 100 minus 75 is 25. Since negative 100 has the larger absolute value, the answer will be negative. We can check this answer on a number line. We move 75 units in the positive direction and then 100 units in the negative direction. Negative 25 is indeed the answer. In this lesson, you have learned to add numbers with opposite signs by using an algorithm.